Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're working on our Yamaha G29, or better yet, known as the Drive, we'll be installing a windshield. We actually have to have one right here made by Majax. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up the box, check make sure the uh, windshield is in good condition. Okay, I've unpackaged the windshield. It is in great condition. And I've also checked my hardware, my plastic extrusions, and my mount, two mounting bolts. You'll notice the windshield has a plastic covering. This uh, protective covering needs to stay on it until we're absolutely sure everything's just right and we're basically done with the car. So what we want to do first is what they call a dry test fit. We want to make sure the width is just exactly right. Going from bar to bar, this one is great. So we know the width is correct. So next, we want to go ahead and mount our mounting bolts. We're going to get my wrenches and let's get started doing that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put our windshield mounting bolt in. We'll take our acorn nut and flat washer off, making sure that there's still one flat washer up against the rubber, and put it in the lower hole that's already on the upright. Now these are 10 millimeter. We want to tighten them down. All we needed is good and snug. Don't worry about over tightening. Oh, we've done this one. Let's go do the same thing to the other side. Okay, before we get this windshield on that car, we need to put the side extrusion pieces on. That's what's actually going to hold it to the car. First thing we need to do is find a nice soft place to lay it down. Now on this, I got the locking blocks facing up. That means the extrusions are going to go on facing down. Need to pull the plastic back. And we want to get this edge here tapped on side of the windshield. Now we're going to want both sides to be pretty much equal. You can actually measure down from the crease. I think I'll set this one at about two inches. Using a rubber mallet, dead blow, or just any type of hammer, lightly tap it. Now we'll turn this thing over and do the very same thing to the other side. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this thing on the car. Okay, now comes the tricky part. Let's get these brackets on. Okay, as you can tell, we've got the windshield seated down into this little grommet. Now, all we've got to do is push this plastic extrusion piece around this upright. This one's actually going on very easily. Sometimes you may have to stick your finger up inside here and push it open and or screw it, put a screwdriver up in there just to press it apart so that it will go right around it and lock in like that. So let's go do the other side. Okay, we got this on. Let's make sure that the top clips hold on good. Reach up, open it up, wrap around. Now that's solid. The way it fits, fits great. So now we go ahead and take this protective film off. We well, hope today's episode on how to install a windshield on the Yamaha G29 or the Drive was helpful for you. Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage. <music>